Hello dear fans, friends and subscribers. It's going to be a very very short cricket show with not much cricket. So basically it's only just cricket news uh, which I'm going to talk about. So uh, there's not uh, really much to, so probably it will be a very very short cricket show. So let me start off uh, by uh, with the, uh, so basically it's a cricket news and England's tour game. As you know, uh, yesterday uh, we had uh, the England, we were talking about uh, England actually uh, not doing so well in two centuries. So today it was quick work. They were all out for 293. Uh, Jake Ball was out for four and Anderson was out for four. Crane was not out on six. And uh, <coughs> that was it. They were all out for 293. And uh, Fallon, uh, the leg spinner uh, who uh, got four wickets today, uh, on his debut in first class cricket, picked up five wickets a uh, haul uh, that was 10 to 22 overs and made him 73 runs and five wickets to him. Cricket Australia, uh, well, they in their reply, uh, they, they they still, I thought, they did a fair job of 233 for nine declared. Uh, I mean, if you look at the squad, the highest score was uh, the person uh, who, who is a known name. Uh, t um, Tim Payne, the wicketkeeper, 52 with 4 fours and 1 6. Short made 45 with 4 fours, 2 6, and Milenko 50. Uh, and uh, well, the chief record was uh, James Anderson. Anderson uh, went on to pick up uh, a 230, a 248, 3 for the leggy uh, Mason Crane. And England in their second dig, they were 5 for no loss. Uh, so <coughs> that was something. And uh, now let's have a look at some cricket news. Now, before I go into the cricket news, uh, there is something, a very uh, sort of a unique happening in international cricket. Now, uh, the reason I'm talking about it, we are talking about uh, um, a bloke by the name of Bahir Shah. Bahir Shah is for, from Afghanistan. And we are talking about um, uh, an Afghanistan local game uh, we call it the four-day tournament. They call it the Al Aloko Zai Hamad Shah Dhali. Uh, this bloke uh, has just played six innings, and he has uh, uh, he has 831 runs to his name. Now, uh, what uh, I would say is uh, he had a double century, he hit uh, two centuries, and a triple century. Now, this is something prolific according to me uh, because in the annals of uh, cricket history there are only four players uh, uh, we are talking about who have done this uh, namely Ponsford as you know for, uh, who was a great player Ponsford he made 741 runs uh, when he actually made his first class debut and we are talking about first class first class runs here on first class runs Rocker made 638 Carson 585 and Rishabh Pant you would know He's from India, 562 is knocking on the doors of Indian cricket, as you know, uh, 562 runs. But this bloke has broken all the records here and he has gone to 831 runs. As I said, he has played only six innings in first class cricket uh, in his career and he has one double century, one triple century and two centuries uh, in that particular uh, uh, order. And... Uh, I can say that, you know, probably Bayer Shah will once uh, play for uh, the Afghanistan cricket team itself. Uh, I mean, so I wanted to just share this. This was something which was a very sort of a rare thing which happens in cricket. Now, England, uh, as you know, right now, yes, they are playing against Cricket Australia. But I am told that uh, uh, Jake Ball uh, is uh, out of business uh, um, after spraining his ankle in the England Tour match. And now, uh, who is going to play? Whether it's going to be Mark Wood, uh, whether it's going to be uh, Liam Plunkett, uh, who is uh, in the Bangladesh Premier League, or it's going to be, uh, there's someone by the name Tom Hem, uh, who people feel that he could, because uh, I'm told that he's six feet four inches, and he can really, really uh, get the ball to talk. Um, uh, other than that, uh, as you know, the Chandika Hatra Singhe, who has had a very great hand as far as Bangladesh success is concerned. As you know, uh, Bangladesh uh, reached the, uh, the the World Cup semi-final, uh, as as you would uh, as you would know, uh, and uh, we also saw 
no, they didn't come into the, uh, well, I'm just trying to think here. Yes, uh, Bangladesh definitely reached the semi-finals uh, and also in T20 cricket they did well and uh, they have been doing very well as you know even the test record has been good uh, and they have been doing uh, they have been having a sort of a very good reign uh, under the um, uh, stewardship of Chandigathra Singh the former Sri Lankan uh, wicketkeeper uh, batsman Chandigathra Singh from Sri Lanka now it seems like uh, in fact uh, uh, Hathra Singh has tendered his resignation he has resigned from this post and uh, now it's going to be interesting to see who is going to be the new coach of the Bangladesh cricket team. <coughs> now, Chandigatra Singh, as I said, he has had a great hand as far as Bangladesh success is concerned, according to me. And now comes the real challenge for Bangladesh, according to me, uh, because they need to find out, found, find out a replacement. And uh, the reason. Uh, that um, one one probably feels is because Sri Lankan cricket uh, has been struggling a lot and uh, after the exit of uh, Mayala Javardhani and uh, Sangakra to stalwarts so they definitely need someone uh, to really start uh, um, building the team and Chandika Hathra uh, it's probably felt that Sri Lanka uh, would require his services and that's a precise reason uh, he has actually resigned uh, as the Bangladesh coach. Now one has to wait and watch as to what really uh, comes up, <coughs> but that is the case. As I told you, dear fans and subscribers, it was a very, very short cricket show, just a snippet, I would say, uh, compared to what I do. Uh, and I would also uh, like to say uh, that um, uh, I might, uh, I mean, I, I will be going. Uh, on vacation shortly uh, I wouldn't be able to promise that uh, uh, that you know it could happen next week but uh, I wouldn't be able to promise uh, that I will be doing the cricket show it's quite possible I'm, I, I might be a bit erratic but as and when I find time I will definitely connect to you as I normally do whenever I go uh, on any uh, short trip or whatever the case may be well, dear fans, subscribers, but uh, you know, I would definitely love to connect to you all. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's not in this week. Probably it could happen next week. Uh, but uh, I'll keep you posted about it. And uh, thanks for uh, patiently uh, watching this cricket happenings, even though uh, my voice box is uh, completely gone. Uh, but nevertheless, as I've already told you, I don't want to repeat it, that cricket is my passion. Well, dear fans, friends, subscribers, pleasure talking to you uh, and connecting to you every day. Uh, it's good night from here. Thank you.